My name is Janet Mickle, and I'm the founder and president of Bridges of Hope International. And our vision is to address the needs of people living in the cycle of generational poverty. And we address those needs from a holistic perspective. Our focuses are on helping people emotionally, physically, and spiritually. My first impression of Keynote and their concert was the way they connected with their audience. They were providing a concert out at La Picota Men's Prison. It's a prison for 5,000 inmates. There are white collar criminals in the prison. There also is a group of prisoners and a separate cell block for the terrorist groups that operate throughout Columbia. It was just a real um, strong connection between the ministry that Keynote had and the audience that they were there to minister to. I saw a change on their face. I saw how they wanted to talk to the members of Keynote and they were really there with them during the concert. If Stop on Green had not been a part of our team, we would have missed some important God moments in Bogota. One of the God moments that we had with Keynote was the time in the AIDS home. Keynote was asked to perform some music. It wasn't a formal concert, but they had no instruments. And Dave pulled up a white plastic table in front of him and used the white table as his drum set. Keynote was able to adapt and they were able to perform a ministry in a setting that touched the hearts of 18 different people that were dying of AIDS. As we left the AIDS home, one of the victims said to me, Janet, you have made us feel like movie stars today. I think our future partnership models the biblical principle of the body of Christ working together. Keynote brings something very valuable to the picture with their gifts and passions and their talents, but Bridges of Hope brings something to the picture with our ability to do projects overseas and with secular organizations and with social outreaches. So both of our groups working together becomes much more impactful than if we would work separately.